Hi, this is uh, Torgrim from Alphasoft.com. Uh, today I'm going to make a short video showing you how to import uh, data from Excel into to EndNotes. And um, for this example, I got an uh, Excel sheet with DOI numbers and I want to import them into uh, EndNotes and update them from there. Oftentimes the only thing you need is the DOI numbers. Uh, to find the author name, title, and, and stuff. Um, so the first thing I need to do is uh, tag uh, the data. Uh, EndNotes, for, to be able to import data, it always needs to be in the text format, a TXT, like in Notepad, uh, and it needs tags, so you know where to put the data into EndNotes. So first thing I do is to insert, I click here on the header and insert a new column on the left side. And here I choose my tag for this and I can choose the tag DOI, column, space, like this. And then I just copy it for all my uh, data. Um, to make things more interesting, uh, there could be you have more data here, so I can add some data. Uh, like this. So we need to import into two separate fields in the EndNotes instead of just one. Um, then I need to uh, to manipulate this and have it on in one cell, uh, my data. So I click the D1 or I can just delete the header row here. So I click the D1 here. And then I say equals uh, E1, A1, which is the tag field, and then an uh, symbol, and then B1. Um, but since I need to separate this with some delimiter, and the delimiter must not be in the data, because then the, the, the import would not know. So for this example, I can use the delimiter like this. You can choose whatever you like, as long as it doesn't appear in your data. So I couldn't use period or backslash because it's appearing here. Uh, and then I add, excuse me, uh, sorry, I forgot the and symbol here. Then I add C1, the last column there. Then I hit enter and Here's my results. I get the tag, uh, the data in B1, in the B column. Then I get my delimiter, which is square brackets. And then I get the data in column C, like this. So I just copy it for the rest of my Excel sheet, like this. And there's my data. This can be imported into EndNote. So I just copy it, right click and choose copy. Open my notepad, paste it, Control V. Control S for saving and say save it to my desktop like this. Then I can jump to EndNote uh, and since this is special kind of data, I need to, to make an import filter and choose which data goes in which field in, in EndNote. So I choose edit import filter, filters, new filter. Uh, and temple, this is journal articles. Uh, I could have chosen uh, a field or, or, or cell in, in Excel that also to told me the, the reference type. But uh, since this is DOI numbers, these are journal articles. Uh, and here, let's click and write my tag which I chose, which was DOI, column, space. And this is going into the DOI field like this. And then we had our delimiter and data after the delimiter should go to, let's put it in the label field like this, just as an example. So there's my template for importing the data. Uh, and as you can see, 
all my data is the tag first, then it's the DRI number until it reach, reaches my delimiter. And all the data after that is going to the label field, like this. Uh, then I need to tell EndNote or the import filter uh, what separates different references. And in this case, it's very easy because every record starts with the DOI type. So there you go. Um, I just save it. I can call it DOI import. And there I have my import filter ready. Then I'm ready to import my data from my Excel sheet. So I go to File, Import, File. I click the Choose button to choose the file I want to import. And this has to be a DOI, a text file. So here it is. Uh, and then I need to choose my import filter. I used this before, but if you haven't used it before, then you need to choose other filters because it will not show up here before I use it at least once. So choose other filters, then just search for DOI or whatever name you, you had and press enter for your import filter. There it is, click choose. And I will import all and do no text translations. I just click the import button and there you go. There's my seven uh, references in, in EndNote. And as you can see, the DRI number is put in the DRI field. And let's see the label field. Yeah, the data is put correctly into to EndNote. Uh, then I can update date these uh, references because, of course, I need the author name and title, etc. So I click uh, Control A to choose to select everyone. Then I right click and choose Find Fill. No, sorry, Find Reference Updates like this. Uh, then and not we go online and search by using the DOI number. In this case, you could also use title and author names, but we didn't have it. For this case, the DOI number is probably the best. So here's the first one. I just click update all fields to update my local reference and then click save updates. And EndNote will continue with the next one. Update all fields, save updates. So if you have a lot of references, this could take some time. But of course it's much, much faster than entering this information manually. And now I think we have reached the last one. There you go. So there's my seven uh, references updated. Uh, now I can also try to find full text articles and have and not import them and attach them to my references. So again, I click Control A to choose to select every references. Then right click one of them and choose Find Fill Text, Find Fill Text. Then EndNote, as you can see, will start searching uh, for uh, the fill text articles. It has already found two and attached them to the corresponding references. Uh, and since I I'm just on an open network. I can only uh, import uh, the free ones uh, for the commercial ones, the ones you have to pay for. It will uh, uh, put the URL, the web page address, into the reference. I can show you when it's finished. So it's just one remaining. And as you can see, this can take some time. So we have 50 references, um, start a find full text uh, feature in EndNote, have a cup of coffee and then come back. Uh, and as you can see, it found uh, four of the seven it imported. So here's the full text article, the PDF. And for the rest uh, of the references, the three, it has put the URL into my URL field. So I can just click here and then it will direct me to the web page uh, where I can uh, uh, purchase this or if I have access to this uh, resource, I can just log in and 
manually uh, import the references to the, the full text article to my reference. So there you go. There's there's how to import uh, data from Excel into uh, EndNote and how to update uh, the references in when they are in EndNote.